Here are some discoveries that changed a few things we believe. Number 9. Secret Void The mystery surrounding the construction of the pyramid in Giza was marveled experts and fans alike throughout history. Now, a new mystery has been added to the list. According to experts, there's a secret void inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's rare that Egyptology and particle physics mix, but back in November of 2017, scientists made a truly baffling observation using cosmic particles blasting Earth from outer space. For centuries, historians have known that the inside of the pyramid is made up of mainly uh, halls and pathways, but never an inaccessible space. Described as a long, narrow void, the space is believed to measure at least 100 feet long and is located on top of the area known as the Grand Gallery. Although there is no certainty as to what was the purpose of the space, the mere existence of this chamber has helped experts understand a little better the process that went behind constructing the pyramids. Experts still don't know what's inside the void, but they have ruled out finding potential materials such as funerary items and treasures that are almost 5,000 years old. What do you guys think is in this void? Something cool, or is it just a big, empty space? Let us know in the comments, and oh yeah, do us a favor and hit that like button right here. Number 8. Tanzania Discovery When it comes to the timing of when humans first appeared on Earth, there's a wide disconnect, as many experts have differing opinions. But one discovery that was found in the northern Tanzania has helped to understand how and when humans first came to be. The Olduve Gorge, a steep-sided ravine, has become one of the most important and interesting archaeological sites in the world, mainly because of the fossils found on the site and the evidence it confirmed. Stretching 30 miles across the Serengeti, Olduve Gorge became a milestone for understanding human development based on the results of the excavations performed by British and Kenyan scientists. Research indicated that the Homo habilis species first populated the area around 1.9 million years ago, a date that preceded the presence of Homo erectus and, of course, the species everyone knows as Homo sapiens. This fact, which was widely unknown to many people, served as confirmation that the human species first appeared on Earth at a prior date than previous reports stated. Well, depending on who you ask, of course. Number 7. Alien Planet Amazingly, only a few decades ago, the thought of any alien planets existing was just a completely hypothetical idea. Nowadays, we know of thousands of such planets. However, what's even more amazing is that scientists may have discovered the best candidate yet for alien life. That candidate is an exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star 40 light years from Earth. The international team of astronomers who discovered it have deemed it as a super Earth. Although the planet orbits a faint red dwarf star 10 times closer than the Earth is to the Sun, that's not an issue because red dwarfs are much smaller and cooler than our Sun is. The super-Earth lies in the middle of the habitable zone and receives around half as much sunlight from its star as the Earth does. The planet is about 6.6 .6 times as massive as Earth and is probably made of rock with a dense iron core. For life to exist, a planet has to have liquid surface water and retain an atmosphere. When red dwarf stars are young, they're known to emit radiation that can be damaging for atmospheres of the planets that orbit them. However, this planet's large size means that a magma ocean could have existed on its surface for millions of years. This seething ocean of lava could have fed steam into the atmosphere long after the star has calmed to its current steady glow, replenishing the planet with water. What do you guys think? Are there aliens walking around on this planet? Let us know in the comments. Number 6. Machu Picchu Treasure The land of the Incas has been home to numerous mysteries. The allure of the South American jungle has prompted many explorers to try and find new treasures and historical objects. It all adds up to the captivating image the world has of Peru. A recent discovery by French historian Thierry Jamin points to the existence of a hidden treasure chamber that lays under the historical Machu Picchu. Of course, there's no way finding like this would go about without some controversy. According to Jamin and his team, this electromagnetic equipment unearthed what they believe is a secret door that, if opened, will reveal a chamber that they're certain contains treasures in gold, silver, and other precious metals. When the Peruvian Ministry of Culture heard their intentions to excavate the historical site, they denied all permit applications. 
According to them, Jammin doesn't seem to be interested in the historical advancement the excavation might bring to the site, but was more concerned about the treasures they may find. They were also worried that the excavation project could jeopardize the stability of Machu Picchu. Although other archaeologists have also studied the site and confirmed that they believe the door is a passage to a burial site filled with treasure, there hasn't been any excavations allowed by the Peruvian government. Number 5. Zealandia Have you guys ever heard of a place called Zealandia? It's a big landmass almost entirely submerged underwater in the southwest Pacific Ocean. The highest mountains of Zealandia make up, you guessed it, New Zealand. Early in 2017, scientists made another push for the landmass to be recognized as a continent. Roughly 94% of the landmass is underwater with only a few islands and three major areas sticking out above the surface. New Zealand's North and South Islands and New Caledonia. After a two-month drilling study that was performed 800 miles underwater, researchers presented a report where they recognized the continent had a close proximity with the tectonic plates of Australia and Antarctica. This suggests that there were pathways or natural bridges in which animals and plants could move around and populate the now submerged Zealandia. Should textbooks start recognizing Zealandia as the eighth continent? After all, just a few years ago, Pluto got the boot off the list of planets, changing what had been taught in schools for decades. There's no scientific body that formally recognizes continents. Maybe there just needs to be a push for it. What do you guys think? Should Zealandia be a continent? Let us know in the comments section. Number four, oldest fossil reef. We've heard the stories of cities that no longer exist. Essentially, after a couple million years, the place is submerged underwater and disappear into history. But this is the case of something that's quite the opposite. And it was quite the discovery. This discovery pushed back the earliest known animals by some 90 million years. From afar, this formation looks only like simple rocks, part of the Flinders Ranges, uh, South Australia's largest mountain range. But when closely inspected, it's actually a huge fossil reef that's 10 times taller than the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef. Princeton University geoscience professor Adam Malouf said he was looking for evidence of early life in the Flinders Ranges when he stumbled upon the rocks. He realized that they contained small red fossils of, quote, some sort of organism. Further analysis revealed the three-dimensional shape of a sponge-like animal. Multiple fossils found on the site indicated the presence of some of the oldest animals ever found on Earth. Previously, the oldest known fossils of hard-bodied animals were from two reef-dwelling organisms that lived about 550 million years ago. Number three, faster craters. A new study has found that new craters are forming on the surface of the moon more frequently than scientists had predicted. The discovery raises concerns about future moon missions because, I mean, it's pretty dangerous when spacecraft and astronauts face an increased risk of getting hit by falling space rocks. The moon is dotted with a vast number of craters some billions of years old. Because the moon has no atmosphere, falling space rocks don't burn up like they do on Earth which leaves the moon's surface vulnerable to a constant stream of cosmic impacts. These new findings also suggest that a number of young features on the moon's surface, such as recent volcanic deposits, may in fact be even a bit younger than previously thought. Although the odds of something on the lunar surface suffering a direct hit by asteroidal or cometary debris is still very small, these new findings illustrate the potential dangers posed by the rocks picked up by these impacts. Number two, Antikythera wreck. Back in 1900, a crew of sponge divers discovered what has become the most popular shipwreck in Greece, the Antikythera wreck. Numerous objects were found on the site, including a set of statues that are believed to be dedicated to philosophers and gods such as Ulysses, Hercules, and Apollo. For years, many researchers have studied the wreck and the area surrounding it, searching for pieces that will help them understand ancient Greek society better. One of the most significant findings was a piece of bronze with an interesting embedded gear wheel. To this date, this finding from 1902 is considered to be the most advanced artifact from the era, as it turned out to be an ancient analog computer. It's come to be known as the Antikythera Mechanism. Now, explorations and research has uncovered new objects that indicate the intricacy of ancient Greek engineers. Subsequent excavations of the wreck delivered new finds from the ship. One extraordinary find is an ancient weapon known as a dolphin, a 220 pound lead bulb tipped with an iron spike intended to be dropped from the ship yardarm through the deck and the hull of an attacking vessel. 
perhaps the most intriguing artifact found since the Antikythera mechanism was a small bronze disc. Punctuated with holes and decorated with the image of a bull, it's unclear what the disc was used for. Who knows what they'll find in further expeditions. Number one, armadillo skull. If you guys found a giant egg, would you almost think that it may be a giant dinosaur egg? This is essentially what happened to Jose Antonio Nevius of Argentina. He was taking a stroll outside of a farm in a town near Buenos Aires. Much to his surprise, he saw a large shell-like object in the middle of a puddle near a riverbank. After some preliminary examination of the object, experts believe it's the shell of an armadillo-like prehistoric creature, the Glyptodont. A glypto what? <laughs> this prehistoric animal once roamed the swamps of South America supposedly between 2 million and 10,000 years ago. Glyptodons are the ancestors of modern armadillos. They're characterized by a large, round, armored dome on its back with squat legs and a short head and neck. They were herbivores that weighed up to a ton and could grow up to 10 feet long. The finding comes as no surprise to many experts, given how glyptodonts were an endemic species of South America. Who knew? You could still find old shells from a giant armadillo back in the day. Here's what's next. For its strong green color, which is featured prominently in ancient Asian art. Jade is actually a generic term for two different gemstones, nephrite and jadeite. Although deep and bright green jadeite is better known in Europe, for most of China's history, jade has come in a variety of colors and white mutton fat nephrite is the most...